Yeah, it is the second week of September, and this is my last summer haul. Hey guys, welcome. My name is Jill. I am a fashion reseller online. I sell on uh, primarily Poshmark, uh, sometimes eBay, sometimes Mercari, and uh, ThreadUp as well. Um, and today I've got the last of my summer items that I need to get listed on Poshmark. Um, I have procrastinated for months. These items were supposed to get listed a long time ago, but life. Um, so anyways, I have a bunch of pieces that I have sourced from multiple places such as Goodwill, thrift shops, um, buy sell trade stores, um, retail arbitrage, the real real, thread up, um, and even from Mercari and Poshmark from other sellers. I have a ton of bolo pieces from Cezanne, Christy Dawn, Bolt Gaia, Paloma Wool. I have a couple pieces from Spell and the Gypsy Collective and uh, just a lot of really great pieces that need new homes. So let's get right into the haul. Uh, so first is this huge rattan belt from Colt Gaia. Colt Gaia is a bolo brand. If you find that, buy it. It's very, very, very high-end luxury, bohemian mostly dresses, beautiful brand. This belt is so cute. I think this belt retailed for about 200. I found it on ThreadUp and used my shopping credit to pick it up. Um, and I'll probably list this at like 100 or so. Next up is this linen snake uh, crop top piece from the designer Paloma Wool. This is uh, an independent designer that uh, if you see, definitely pick it up. The line has a small following, um, and if you find these in the wild, definitely pick them up because you can sell them for a lot. I believe this one retailed for probably $150, and I can probably sell this for about $100 or so. Next up, I've got two silk camisoles from Cezanne. A bunch of pieces today are going to be from Cezanne because I bought um, a bulk order. I bought a bulk bundle of Cezanne pieces from a seller on Poshmark. Um, and these silk camisoles, I have sold them new before for about like 90 or so. So used, I can probably sell these for at least like 65. This is just a cute crop top piece from Zara. Really cute. Ruffle, ruched back, and then uh, fabric covered buttons. This I bought from another Poshmark seller and this I can probably sell online for about 20, 25 or so. This is a definite Bolo brand. So this is by the designer Bon Janin, and they make really beautiful, bohemian, colorful, bright print pieces. Um, primarily sold like on Shopbop and the like, and this one probably retailed for like $300 or so. I found this on ThreadUp, and so I'm gonna list it on Poshmark for a little bit. Um, I'll probably have it listed at like 135 to 150 or so. Piece from uh, Kate Hudson's line, Happy X Nature. This is new with tags. This was actually under the assorted brand section on ThreadUp, so always check that out, especially the new with tags, because um, then you can kind of get a gauge of what it might be. Um, this probably retailed for about $60 or so. I'll probably sell this for about $45 to $50 on Poshmark. Another top from Happy X Nature. It's a ruffled one shoulder uh, blouse that is also new with tags. This retailed for $78, so I'll probably list this for about $50 on Poshmark. This piece I actually bought for myself. This is by Beyond Yoga. Um, and I picked this up at Crossroads. I paid $15 for it. It is new with tags. It's so, so soft. Um, so this retailed for $60. So I'll probably list this on Poshmark for $50. This is a silk floral blouse from Madewell. Um, this is also new with tags. I picked this up at um, Norsham Rack and I paid $13.50 for it. And it retailed for $90, so I'll probably list this at like 60 or so. This is just an easy 
chiffon like fabric piece from Sunday Best which is an Aritzia brand and this I'll probably just list for like 25 or so just an easy basic piece this is a velvet pink crop top from J Crew. this is from fall 2017 and this I'll probably list for about 35 or so this is another piece from Cezanne really really beautiful bright red blouse this I can probably list for at least a hundred or so on Poshmark. Poshmark is a great place to sell a Cezanne because there's a lot of buyers who are looking for Cezanne pieces. So this is one of my new favorite brands. It's sold at um, Anthropology. It's called Blank London. That's what the tag looks like. And then you can see um, the label under there. But they put out a lot of really, really beautiful, fun, bright, colorful pieces. This one is no exception. It's embellished tons of detail on the front it probably retailed for over like 150 to 178 or so um and i'll probably list this at like maybe 85 to 100. uh this is a piece by the brand line and dot which i believe is sold at revolve this i actually found under the assorted brands under thread up as well um, it is new with tags it's a really cute linen wrap crop top with elastic puff sleeves um, and this probably retailed for like under 100 or so, so I'll list this at like 45 to 50. This is a really, really great piece. This is by Mara Hoffman, um, whose older pieces are like super colorful and bright patterns and everything, but they don't sell as well. Her new pieces sell super well and um, will sell really high. Um, this is one of those newer pieces. This is a um, kind of linen blend. Um, Linen blend, textured, um, boxy blouse with these wooden button details along the sides. And this I actually picked up at Crossroads last week. I paid $18 for it. It probably retailed for about $250 or so. Um, and so I'm going to list this about at about $125 on Poshmark. This is Stella McCartney Adidas, new with tags. Um, this probably retailed for like 85 or so and I can probably sell this on Poshmark for about 35 to 45 um, This is my first time picking up um, her collaboration with Adidas So I'm not sure how the pieces do but it's just a really cute leopard print sheer t-shirt, so We'll see how it does. I think this is my favorite piece that I picked up from Cezanne um, I bought this from another Poshmark seller and this is just a beautiful, colorful, long sleeve, um, silk blouse wrap top. I know that this is a really popular piece, so I'll probably be able to sell this for about 135 to 150 or so. This is another Cezanne piece that's actually going to be a really good transition piece for fall. It's a super breezy um, cotton long sleeve peasant top. And I paid uh, $23 for this at my local Buffalo Exchange. And it's really, really beautiful. And this probably retailed for about 150. I can probably sell this for about 125 or so on Poshmark. This is another Cezanne piece. I'm not joking. I bought so many Cezanne pieces. Really beautiful embroidered lace top. That detail is incredible. Um, again, I can probably list this for like at least like 100 to 130 or so on Poshmark. Uh, this was a new to me Bolo brand. Uh, Zarina, I think. X Zarina. Um, and I picked this up at my local Crossroads Trading. Um, this retails for so much. I believe this was like $200 or so. So I can probably list this at least above 100 or even send it into thread up. It's just a really cute floral print breezy blouse. Another Bolo brand. This is by Ghani. This is their new tag. Um, I picked this up at Crossroads for $16.50, super summery, so I need to get this listed soon, but it's a really cute um, yellow daisy wrap top blouse. So I'll probably list this probably at like $65 to $85 or so. I love this brand. This is Roller Rabbit, um, also known as Roberta Roller Rabbit, I believe, um, and they make really beautiful bohemian pieces. Obviously, I mean, this may have even actually been sold at Anthropology, um, but this piece is new with tags. It retailed for 138, and uh, it's a size extra small. I picked this up on Thread Up, and I can probably sell this for like at least 100 or so on Poshmark. It's so cute. Look at all the detail. 
This is a really cute peasant blouse by the brand Faro, which is uh, an in-house brand on needsupply.com. Just a really cute pink gingham checkered uh, peasant blouse. I can probably sell this for about 35 to 45 on Poshmark. This is another piece by Faro. This one is new with tags as well. Um, I actually picked this up at uh, my local thrift store uh, this week. Um, this probably retailed for about $50, so I can probably sell this for about $30 to $40 on Poshmark. This is a Free People blouse. This was from um, another local thrift store. Big oversized dolman sleeve blouse. Uh, this I paid $6 for. And this I'm probably just going to go ahead and send right into ThreadUp. My Free People, the Free People pieces in my Poshmark closet usually just end up sitting. Um, but it does, it sells really quickly for me on ThreadUp. So this is a really good find. This is Spell and the Gypsy Collective. And this piece is new with tags. It's the Rosa Wrap Blouse in Blush. And again, I actually have quite a few pieces that look like this. But it's, again, a wrap blouse with these big uh, billowy sleeves. And I believe this must have retailed for like 200 or so. So I can probably sell this for at least like 150 to 175. Um, Spell and the Gypsy is, has a cult following. They have so many loyal fans that will pay up for their pieces. So if you ever find it, um, definitely pick it up. This is a cute white dress by uh, Joa, which I believe is just one answer. It's sold at Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack. Um, and this I can probably sell for like 35 to 50 or so on Poshmark. And this looks like the exact same dress, but it's not. This is by Lulu's. And again, it's just a cute white trapeze dress. Um, and this I can probably sell on Poshmark for like 25 to 35 or so. This is another piece by Spell and the Gypsy Collective. Um, this piece is really beautiful. It's like a Victorian prairie peasant dress with mother of pearl buttons, tons of lace detail. But I can probably sell this for at least like 200 to 300, depending on how desirable the style is. But I think this might be a good piece. I'm not sure. I haven't done research on it yet, but we'll see. eBay and Poshmark are the places to sell Spell. This is a linen piece by Flax, which is also a bolo cult following brand. Uh, this might actually be a vintage piece, but it's just a really cute polka dot trapeze dress. And this I can probably sell for about 50 on Poshmark or eBay. I bought this based off of style and because um, it was $2 at Goodwill. But it's just a really cute 90s dress with these... Um, shoulder ties, little pockets with ties that you can tie into bows there, mother of pearl buttons, and then a ruffle hem, and then a waist tie. It's super 90s, super cute, and vintage does really well. So I'm going to go ahead and list this on eBay and Poshmark for about $35 um, to $50 or so. This is a bolo brand as well. This is called uh, A Piece Apart. And this dress is new with tags. I actually wore it in one of my previous videos. Um, but this is the Camila mini dress. Um, this probably retailed for about 250 to 300 or so. I actually bought this from another Poshmark seller. And I'm going to go ahead and get this listed at like 250 or so on Poshmark. It's 100% linen and 100% cute. This dress I found on um, ThreadUp's assorted brand. I bought it based off of style because it's so cute. Um, but this is by the brand M.I.G., which is Make It Good. And this is actually um, a Portland designer. So I'm not sure how well it's going to sell because it's such, an, it's such a small designer. But um, I'm going to go ahead and list it and see how it does because it's so cute. This is a new tags Zara dress. Mixed boho paisley print. Um, with shoulder ruffles. This I bought in a bundle from another Poshmark seller. It was originally priced at 40 so I can probably get like 30 or so for it. This is by the brand Keepsake, which is sold at Anthropology Beholden. It's new with tags. I actually have this dress in blush currently listed. It's really beautiful. Off the shoulder, ruffle, floral dress. Really beautiful for spring. 
Um, and this probably retailed for about 200 or so. I'll probably get this listed for about 150 on Poshmark. This is a new with tags dress from Gal Meets Glam. Um, pleated, midi length. Um, I talked a little bit about Gal Meets Glam in my last video in the Nordstrom Rack uh, retail arbitrage, but Gal Meets Glam did shut down. So I feel like the pieces are gonna be more desirable and sought after. So when I am seeing it, I'm definitely picking it up. I bought this from another Poshmark seller. It retailed for $200 and I'll probably get this listed at like 120 or so, depending on comps. This dress I picked up from ThreadUp. It's new with tags from Nordstrom. It's BB Dakota. Really cute chiffon, 60s inspired dress. Um, it's also new with tags. This probably retailed for a little bit over 100. Um, and I'll probably get this listed at like 65 or so on Poshmark. This is another Saison piece. This is a silk dress. Really, really pretty. I believe I bought this on Poshmark from another seller. Um, and this I'm going to go ahead and probably get listed at like 150 or so because it is silk and it looks like it's never been worn as well. So, so beautiful. Multi-tiered, beautiful floral print. This is by the brand ATM, which retails for a lot. I paid $14 for this at Crossroads. Really breezy um, cotton dress that probably retailed for like $250 to $300 or so. And this I might just go ahead and send into ThreadUp um, because it did retail for more and higher priced items seem to sell faster on, uh, on ThreadUp than on Poshmark. So this is a really, really beautiful silk piece. I found this on the assorted brands on ThreadUp. Really beautiful silk chiffon fabric blocking and it's new with tags. It's by Mute by JL. Um, and this is the mint silk refresh dress. It's so, so beautiful. And I believe that this retailed for about 300 or so. It is a smaller designer, so uh, it's gonna be harder to um, find a buyer on Poshmark um, just because it's a lesser known brand. But um, in those cases, that's when you just use keywords. Um, but this one I'll probably get listed at like 100 or so. Uh, this is a bolo brand. This is by Stone Cold Fox. I picked this up at my local Crossroads. I paid $24 for it. This particular style retailed for about $285 on uh, Revolve and such. It's a really cute tuxedo style jumpsuit. Um, perfect for an eloping bride. Um, but I'll probably get this listed at about like $150 or so on Poshmark. This is another piece by Flax. This is definitely a vintage piece. Um, based on the tag. And this is a, a trapeze maxi linen dress with pockets. Um, this I'll probably list for about 65 um, on eBay and Poshmark. This is a really good designer to know. Great independent designer. This is Black Crane. And this is a modern minimalist designer. Um, this is a beautiful linen uh, white maxi dress with mid-waist tie and buttons and um, this is a really beautiful piece. I bought this from another seller on Poshmark in a bundle and this piece probably retailed for like 250 to 300. The piece by the Australian designers Maury and Eve. And this is just a linen midi dress with a um, with a waist cutout, pockets, um, and this I believe I paid like $8 for. This I picked up at a local thrift shop. It does have some stains right here that I'm going to have to stain treat. Um, but this brand retails for probably about $150 to $200. Um, and so this I think I'm just going to go ahead and send into ThreadUp. This is a beautiful silk floral stained glass print dress by Christy Dawn. If you find this, pick it up immediately. This is... <laughs> If you find this, pick it up immediately. This is the Bolo brand. Um, this and Doan. This is new with tags. This is the uh, Valer Val Valeria. Valeria. Um, this retailed for $250, but Christy Dawn, again, has a 
huge fan base and people are willing to pay over the original price depending on how rare the piece is. This I know that I can sell for at least $250 on Poshmark. It's absolutely beautiful, 100% silk and just stunning. Uh, this is a dress by Finders, also known as Finders Keepers. This I paid about $16 for at Buffalo Exchange and this probably retailed for about $150 to $200. Really cute uh, midi length maroon wine star dress. Um, I'll probably list this for about $85 to $100 or so on Poshmark. This is another piece that I found under the assorted brands on ThreadUp. This is a designer from India, I believe I'm saying it right, Anne Pama. Um, and it's new with tags from Anthropology. It's 100% silk. It's a full length maxi dress in this beautiful, bright uh, color palette. Big puff sleeves, ruched waist. Um, and I believe that this retailed for $260. Um, so I'll probably get this listed at, at like $150 to $175 or so on Poshmark. Always check assorted brands on ThreadUp. You can find some real gems in there. This is a really cute lilac lavender piece from Wilfred, which is sold at Aritzia. Um, this I picked up for $12 at my local Crossroads. And um, yeah, I can probably sell this for about 50 to 65 on Poshmark. This is a Bolo brand for bridesmaid dresses. Uh, I'm gonna take the tag off. This is by the designer Jenny Yu, which is sold at uh, Nordstrom. And this I paid $10 for. This probably retailed for about $300. Really beautiful chiffon, printed floral chiffon maxi strapless bridesmaid dress. Um, and this I can probably resell for at least $100, maybe $150 or so. This I bought just based off of style. It's a really cute um, satin crinkle maxi dress with ruched floral buttons and um, sleeve ties. This doesn't have a label. I paid $10 for it at Goodwill, and um, I think I can probably sell this for like maybe 50 to 65 or so. It's gonna be tough without a label, but keywords. This is a really good piece by Galmates Glam. I sourced this from ThreadUp. Really beautiful silk chiffon, purple floral print, maxi length with large, with a large ruffle hem wrap style dress. Um, this I can probably sell for at least $150 on Poshmark. This dress I bought based off of style and I bought it um, in a bundle from another Poshmark seller. This is the brand Jace, J-A-A-S-E. Um, it doesn't retail for very much. I think that this must have retailed from like maybe $65 or so, but it's just a really cute boho bell sleeve maxi prairie dress that um, I thought would sell based off of style. So this I'll probably get listed for about 35 or so. This is another piece um, that was a part of another seller bundle. It's a super heavy silk um, lace crochet midi dress, super dramatic. This I swear was based off of a self-portrait dress. It doesn't have a label, but it is made with silk, so I know that it's high quality. Um, but it's really, really beautiful. Again, would be a great elopement or bridal dress. Um, and this I'll probably list for like 85 to 100 or so. Even though it doesn't have a label, um, it still is really beautiful and is made with quality um, ingredients, fabric. This is a dress from that same bundle. This is Joanna Ortiz is collaboration with H&M. Um, it's new with tags. Um, these collaboration pieces can sell anywhere from like 75 to 150 online. I just sold another dress. They retailed for under 60. So if you find them, definite bolo. This I'll probably get listed at around 100 or so on Poshmark. This is a really good find. I know that uh, this brand isn't doing so well anymore, but um, it does really well on ThreadUp. This is by Joie. J-O-I-E. This is new with tags. This dress retailed for $350. It's a linen puff sleeve off the shoulder dress with this really beautiful tropical uh, floral print. Um, I paid $30 for this at Buffalo Exchange and I'm just gonna go ahead and send this right in to ThreadUp. This is another piece by Christy Dawn that I sourced off of Poshmark. 100% silk, mustard, 
patterned maxi dress. This I believe I paid like uh, maybe like 90 or so for. And this I'm gonna go ahead and get listed at 200 because it is silk. Not a huge resale profit on that, and I paid $15 at Buffalo Exchange, but I bought it based off of style, and I think that it'll do well on Poshmark. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this listed at like 65 or 70 there. Next up is this pair of Levi's 501s cutoffs. Always an easy sell on Poshmark. You can usually get at least like 40 to 50 for them. Um, and these I paid about $8 for at my local thrift store. These are shorts from Finders Keepers, which I believe is the same as Finders. Um, these are new with tags. I believe I got these off of ThreadUp. And these um, could probably list for like 35 to 40 or so. Just a really cute um, crochet knit and lace trim pair of high-waisted shorts. These I got from ThreadUp. These are by Cezanne. This is their denim line, really cute. High waist, um, white denim jeans. Um, I can probably sell these for like at least like one to one twenty five on Poshmark. This is a new with tags um, keepsake skirt that I got from Poshmark. Really, really beautiful fabric, textured fabric with a wrap ruffle detail. Again, eloping brides. This would be perfect. So this probably retailed for like 150 or so. I'm gonna go ahead and get this listed at 85 on Poshmark. These are a pair of culotte jeans by Zara. They're new with tags. They retailed for $50. These were a part of a bundle from a Poshmark seller. Um, and these I'll probably get listed for about 35 or so on Poshmark. This is a skirt from J. Crew Collection, which supposedly retails and sells for quite a bit online. It's a pink and peach metallic gold. Uh, geometric patterned uh, pencil skirt. I sourced this off of ThreadUp and I have no idea how to price this because apparently collection because um, apparently collection sells for quite a bit more so I don't know to be determined. This is a skirt from Farm Rio definitely a bolo brand to pick up really cute Swiss dot green ruffle trim um, midi wrap skirt. This I got in a bundle from another Poshmark seller and this I'll probably sell for like 75 to 100 on Poshmark. If it doesn't sell, if it just sits for a while, then I'm just gonna go ahead and send this into ThreadUp because Farm Rio does really well on there. This is a skirt from Zara, really cute linen blend wrap linen skirt. Um, this was from a bundle, and this I'll probably list for maybe 50 or so on Poshmark. It is Zara Basic, which means that it's uh, retailed for a little bit cheaper, but I think that it's such a cute piece and it's good material that it can probably sell for a little bit higher. This is another piece by uh, Kate Hudson's line, Happy X Nature. Um, this is a linen midi skirt with multi-ruffle tiers. Um, this piece retailed for $88, so I can probably go ahead and list this for $75 on Poshmark. These are a pair of Ula Johnson, um, wide leg pink trouser jeans <laughs> um ula johnson definitely pick it up if you find it major bolo designer um and these are the ellis jean and rose they're a size zero and these probably retailed for about 350 to 450. i sourced these off of thread up and i think i'm just going to go ahead and send them right back to thread up because um ula johnson does really well on there Finally for clothes, this is a pair of Topshop culottes, which I actually bought for myself. Um, they're a size 14 and they're new with tags. They retailed for $55 and they've got these really cute tortoise, tortoise shell buttons. Um, and it's a great size, plus does really well on Poshmark. And so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get these listed at 50 on there. And now for the shoes. I'm so excited about these and I can't wait to get them listed. These are a pair of new Acne Studio um, leather buckle mules. These I found on ThreadUp and I believe I paid $100 for. But I mean they are, they're pretty much new. They've been worn like a couple times but they're in really great condition. These are a new style. This is the new label. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and get these listed on Poshmark for maybe like $350 or even $400 but they definitely retailed for at least five to $600, so I feel comfortable listing them high, and they're so cute. 
And these are a pair of Swedish has-beens that I found at Goodwill this week. Really cute clog style. They're definitely worn. You can tell like the wood is a little bit scratched and damaged, but um, Swedish has-beens sell really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these listed at like 85 or so on Poshmark. This is a really great shoe line. This is by M. Jemmy. Really cute leather crossover heels. This incredible wood geometric design. Oh my gosh, oh, they're so beautiful. These probably retailed for about 300. I picked these up for $24 at Crossroads and I'm gonna go ahead and get these listed at about 125 or so on Poshmark. They're so beautiful. These are a pair of Saludos Wrap Espadrilles. Um, so these probably retailed for about 100 or so. Um, and Saludos generally sell for about 35 to 50 or so on Poshmark. This is another assorted brands from Thread Up Gem. Um, this is the brand number six. This is a really high-end clothing and shoe brand. They're especially known for their clogs. Let's see, there's the label. Um, but anyways, if you find these, definitely pick them up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and list these probably at like 160 to 175 on Poshmark. These are a pair of woven pointed Jeffrey Campbell mules. Um, I picked these up on uh, on Poshmark and I'm probably gonna go ahead and get these listed at like 60 to 75 or so on Poshmark. These are a pair of Swedish has been wooden clogs. These retailed for $400. I found them at Crossroads for 42. I'm gonna go ahead and get them listed at $200 on Poshmark because they're in excellent condition. Um, these are a pair of Lock, which is definitely a Bolo brand. If you find those, pick them up, L-O-Q. Um, these are a pair of pointed cylinder wooden heel mule heels and I believe I found these on Poshmark. I paid about $100 for them. They probably retailed for about $400 and I'm hoping to resell them for at least $250 or so. These are a pair of shoes by Frida Salvador. These I actually got for free on the Real Real because they send out um, $30 credit sometimes and these shoes were on sale for $30, which is crazy because they probably retailed for like $350 or so. Um, so these I actually got for free on the Real Real using my $30 credit. Um, these are a size 6. Um, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get these listed on Poshmark. I hope to sell them for at least like $150 or so because they are brand new. These are a pair of shoes by another modern minimalist designer. This is called Gray Matters, really cute 90s inspired silver metallic mules, very similar to like Miriam Nasir Zeta. Um, really beautiful shoes. They're in new condition. I bought these from another seller on Poshmark and got a great deal. I'm hoping to sell these for at least a hundred or so. These are a pair of suede uh, block heel mules by the brand Solsana. These are brand new from Crossroads. They were half off, so I believe I paid about $30 for them, but they are new, they're beautiful, and I hope to sell them for at least 85 to 100 on Poshmark. This is a new pair of Free People um, Snake Gladiator Sandals. These probably retailed for about 150 or so, and I'm hoping to sell these for at least like 75 to 100. And that's the show, that's it. That's the last of my summer stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these listed. If you enjoy this content, go ahead and like and subscribe. Thanks so much for hanging out and I'll see you next time.